Hey everyone, how you doing? It's Bordeaux Rose. I just finished doing a video on natural deodorants that I've been using and I'll tell you which one wins in this, in that video. I ain't gonna tell you over here. Okay, I ain't gonna tell you over here. So go check it out if you're really interested. You know, we, we, we gotta stop putting aluminum in our bodies. But anyway, I just wanted to come on and just chit chat a little bit. And every time I try to do this, I end up having to delete a video or something because people are so evil. Not that I care about, I don't delete videos because, um, you know, that I care that people didn't agree with me. I delete videos because people are really dark and nasty and they are nasty to not only me, but they're nasty to the people that actually come on and try to say, well, hey, you know, you know, their opinion or whatever. And it's like, when I say nasty stuff, like nasty stuff, and I don't mind losing the views, uh, deleting those videos. I don't mind losing the watch time. I don't mind any of that um, because I, my sanity and the people's sanity that come on my videos and enjoy them and actually want to, you know, give their, their opinion really matters, matters to me versus some watch time and some views, okay? But I just wanted to talk about a couple things oh gosh oh here we go okay the first thing i want to talk about is trisha trisha paytas and her braided wig okay <sighs> i might get a little heat for this but you know i thought the wig was cute i thought the wig was cute and when i saw it i said okay she trolling she admitted it in one of her videos that her video her channel was dying or whatever she always says that but her channel was well alive but she she admitted that you know my channel's dying and i'm trying to do something different and blah 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 but she didn't mention the hair because she knew she just knew that people were going to come for her i thought the wig was cute and, and another thing i want to say right okay now i'm i i'm not a fan of anybody's but i've watched some of her videos before lately i haven't watched them but she's one of the first people that i did start watching on youtube um when i first started watching youtube so you know it's kind of nostalgic for me when i see a trisha paytas video it's like oh trisha paytas i remember her but anyway you know if you've been watching trisha paytas for a long 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 time you would know that trisha has always worn weave she's always worn uh sew-ins she actually wore sew-ins and she's worn a clip in and those little velcro ends and those kind of weaves because I think she did a video one time of her actually going to get her weave done or was it in a vlog I don't remember it's been a long time but they actually braid her hair and sew the weave on so Trisha gets braids this is nothing new it's just that it's a braided wig and um and and, and I just think that we got to stop expecting people to apologize for I'm gonna just say what people are saying um, for stealing or um, cultural appropriation. I know that we talk about that a lot and I know that it does happen. I'm not saying that it doesn't happen. But I just think that in 2019, it's like, the one thing that I saw somebody say in a video, she said that, you know, that it's a little disheartening because it's okay when a Caucasian girl gets her hair braided and it's accepted and she created it. No, she did not create it, okay? Sisters created that. Sisters been rocking braids for a long time. Like, I'm not talking about two pigtail braids or cornrows, two cornrows going back either. I'm talking the intricate little skinny braids that we do, the different styles that we do. I'm saying that, yes, we did create that. It doesn't mean that Caucasian people cannot wear their hair that way. It doesn't mean that Hispanic people cannot wear their hair that way. Anybody could wear their hair that way. The problem that some chocolate girls have um, women of color, people of color have is that when you say that it's okay because she's Caucasian or she's Hispanic or whatever, and when we get in trouble, like if I go to work and my hair is out, like I've had this comment several times, I have my afro out or I have my hair braided or whatever, and it's like, mm, I like your hair better the other way, and the other day way meaning like this or long or straightened or whatever the case may be, they pre they prefer they prefer my hair like this. They don't say I can't wear my hair like, you know, with my fro to work. They don't tell me I can't wear my braids to work. But you can tell it's just so much more socially expect, ex, well, expected, <laughs> socially expected and socially accepted when I wear my weaves and my wigs. And it's sad. It is. 
Um, and I think that's that's the that's the problem. I don't want people to think that women of color or people of color are discriminating and saying that you know Caucasian people cannot wear their hair like we wear our hair. Um, you know, I, I don't think that that's the problem. It's definitely not the problem. I think it's super cute. But I just think that the problem is more of don't say, don't don't tell me that I got to go home and change my hair or tell me, you know, that that hair doesn't look good on me, but it looks good on, you know, my sister that, you know, that is, is a Caucasian. You know what I mean? Excuse me. You know, we got to stop that. That is the thing. That is the problem. It has nothing to do with her wearing the hairdo. And I think the biggest problem was the fact that she came on and put up a, a picture of um, the other uh, white young lady that wear, wore some braids or whatever and try to kind of make it seem as if like, well, she did it, you know, like she does that. That's what she, like, it's from her. Like, no, it's not from her. But, you know, I like I said, I always see this thing about cultural appropriation and it is a real thing out here. But what we also have to stop doing is expecting people to be like, you know, oh my God, I don't want to wear braids because, you know, then the black girls are going to think that, you know, I'm copying them. Like, we got to stop that. Wear what you want to wear. You, you can wear braids if you want. Trust me. It's okay. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. You can wear braids. It, there's no problem. But don't sit here and make it seem as if like, you know, well, you know, you know, you know what I mean? Like, I guess what I'm trying to say is. You know, for a long time, women of color could not wear their afros. They could not wear their braids to work. They could not do it. And now that it's, it's almost like because it's kind of politically correct to not say anything about it anymore at work, you know, we've kind of made it that way, that now when a Caucasian girl comes to work with her braids, it's like, oh my God, that's so cute. It's so amazing. Oh my God, I wear that every day. But for us, it's like, hmm. I guess you can wear it. You know what I mean? <laughs> so that's that's the only thing. And it's and it's and you know the people that made this is the same people that um, make not make me but ha make me feel like I need to delete videos or things because the dark nasty people are the ones that come on and say really bad things and they just have to stop doing that. It just needs to stop. We all need to be one. Everybody can wear their hair braided. Black girls can wear their hair blonde because you know black girls. Some black girls are born with blonde hair. If you've ever seen albinos, there's some people that are really born with with um, with blonde hair and blue eyes. There's a girl on YouTube. I think her name is Sin C Y N. She has blue eyes, and she's a black girl, an African American girl. So you know, I think that we're all mixed up in culture. We just need to be as one and love each other as one, and everything will be okay as long as we're loving each other and taking taking care of each other. We'll be fine. You know, the evil things needs to stop. The cultural pro appropriation needs to stop. The the racism needs to stop. It just all needs to stop. And then we'll be okay. You know, when I first started watching YouTube, I watched some Caucasian girls along with the fact that I watch black girls. I watch, a, I watch a Caucasian girl to this day. Her name is Zabrina with a Z. Um, and I watch her because she has extremely oily skin like mine. And if it works for her, as far as... Um, you know, primers and setting sprays and powders and foundations and things like that, I know it's going to work for me. And that's that's kind of where I gauge some of my complexion products from is her. When I saw her using them, I was like, you know what? Okay, her skin is... It has nothing to do with her complexion. I, You know, it... Her complexion has nothing to do with the fact that her skin is really oily. My skin is... I'm dark, way darker than her. And my skin is really oily. Another thing is she lives in Boca. Which is like maybe not even, maybe like uh, almost an hour away from me. I live in Miami. So we live in almost the same climate. So that's why I watch her. You know what I mean? So I watch Jackie Aina because her complexion is almost the same as mine. Um, our face shape isn't the same, but we have almost the same complexion. So it's like I know whatever color matches Jackie Aina, I can go in the store without even thinking about it and it'll match me. You know what I mean? Um, that's how I started using Too Faced Chai, Chi, or how have you pronounced that? It's because she wore it and I knew it would match me. I went and bought it and it was a perfect match. Um, uh, what else? The other thing I want to talk about is this whole James Charles thing. Like, who cares? Who really cares if, if James Charles got his butt done? I just saw that, uh, last night when I was like scrolling through, you know, doing my mindless YouTube scroll. 
And I was like, James Charles got his butt done. Oh my God, why are we doing this? Why is this news? Nobody cares. You got his butt done. Personally, if you want my honest opinion on that, even though I know you probably don't give a shit, um, but my honest opinion is, I don't think James Charles got his butt done. I think it's angles. I really think it's angles. I think that um, in some of his videos, you know, he was like holding his, his rump in a little bit. Some he was, I'm gonna try to demonstrate. I'm gonna try to demonstrate. Okay, so I don't have a really large butt. Let me move my chair, okay? I don't have a really large butt. My butt is like, you know, I guess mediocre. I don't know. Okay, here it is. So it's like James Charles and his videos, there's a lot of them. It's gonna be a little hard for me because I probably do have a little bit more butt than him. But his videos, he was just kind of like, you know, like this. Like, you see how my butt looks? Let me move out some more. See how my butt looks like if I'm standing like this? But if I'm standing like this, it looks bigger. You know what I mean? If I'm standing like this, it looks smaller. If I'm doing this, it looks bigger. So I think it's really just angles, you know, that he was probably playing with. And it just looks like he got his butt done, you know? And then don't forget, there's Photoshop. There's all that kind of stuff. I mean, I don't watch, I don't like go on his channel to see his stuff, but you cannot help but to hear and see James Charles on freaking YouTube. If you watch YouTube beauty view, videos, you're gonna see something about James Charles. It's either his video is gonna pop up or a drama channel or somebody's gonna be talking about James Charles. So from what I've seen, and you know, he's also could have pre-recorded some stuff. He's been doing a lot of collab with a lot of different people. Um, you know, you see him everywhere. When you get a BBL, when you get a BBL, you can't be doing all of that. From what I understand, I've never had any work done to my body. Never had any work. I still got my little mommy pouch here, you know, and my, you know, normal butt, you know, my, my, you can't see them here, but my little side, I don't, I've never gotten any work done. My boobs are big because they're ridiculous, but, <laughs> and it's natural. It's definitely hereditary um, on my dad's side of the family. But, you know, from what I understand, I have a girl right now, she's a friend of mine, that is right now just got out of surgery, and the doctor told her, like, she can't even sit for six weeks or something. She has to lay down for some time. BBLs are not like, oh, I'm going to go have a BBL, and then next week I'm going to be at Coachella with my butt out. No. Okay? So, I personally don't think he had any work done. I don't think he, I just think it was... You know, whatever he got to push his butt up, you know, in those Coachella videos, it looks like he had those, um, well, I don't know if it tucked his butt, but I know one thing you can get those little, um, those little like chaps that come under here and they pull your butt up like that, you know, you know, you can get those that, that help with butt lift. There's so many things that you could do squats. You don't know. He could have, I don't know. I'm not trying to, I'm honestly not trying to take up for him, but I just think some of the things that people come out online with is crazy, like, and they're not even saying like, well, it's just my opinion or something that they're thinking. They're like, oh, he had a BBL. It's like, at least say it's your opinion, you know what I mean? But uh, the last thing that I kind of want to talk about is, um, you know, expecting like beauty gurus or anybody to come on and apologize to you because they said the N word or because they made fun of a disabled person or whatever. Listen, you need to understand something. An apology does not mean that, especially something like that, you know, that gruesome because we can make mistakes we could i could say oh this did not work for me as shitty you know and it's like you know what i'm sorry i didn't mean to call it shitty like it just didn't work you know and i probably should have just said that it didn't work and i didn't like it or whatever you get what i'm saying i can understand that kind of apology but the apology of i'm sorry that i'm a racist or i'm sorry that i said the n-word really hello everybody knows not to say the n-word everybody knows that it's a very racist, hurtful term that you are not supposed to use. And, you know, we can talk about the differences all day long, but that's good. That's a long debate, okay, that I have a very unpopular um, opinion about, but I'm not even going into that, okay, because I don't want the circus clowns to come back and be raiding my channel again. But anyway, <laughs> but anyway, so I just feel like we got to stop expecting beauty gurus 
famous people to come on and apologize because we said to apologize. That does not mean that it's genuine. It definitely doesn't mean that they're sorry. And it definitely doesn't mean that they're not gonna do it again, okay? So when you hear a beauty guru or you see somebody do something really atrocious, like, oh, you N-word, you stupid N-word, or, you know, or just being nasty to like a disabled person, or just, those things to me cross the line of I'll accept an apology. I won't for things like that. I just really won't, okay? Now, I will tell you who I will accept an apology for racism. Here's my unpopular opinion. If you're a child, even if you're like a teenager, right? Like a young teenager though, like maybe 12 or 13. And you grew up in a household that is very racist. And you're in school now and you're like, oh, you stupid N-word or you stupid, you know, they call Hispanic people the S-word or whatever. I will never repeat it. That's not nice. Um, you know, you stupid S-word, oh, you stupid this or you stupid that. And, you know, oh, you're dumb, you're this, you're da, da, da. Um, and then you become educated as you're growing older. And you're like, man, that was horrible. And you you apologize for that and you lead a better life and you're not doing it, not even behind closed doors because you understand that that is very inappropriate and not cool at all. That's who I would take an apology from. But not these people that are 20 odd and 30 odd and 40 odd years old that know, they know, they know. Yeah, you might've grew, grew up in a in a horrible neighborhood or, or a racist family, but once you turn a certain age and people have taught you better and you're still doing that stuff, you're not sorry. You're saying sorry so you can keep getting that money. That's it. That is it. That is completely it. Now, a slim, there's a slim, slim chance that a person of older age becomes educated and they lead a better life and they don't say those things and they don't think those thoughts anymore. And, you know, they, they lead it. Like, they don't do it in their house. They don't do it anywhere. They don't do it in their minds. They're like, oh, my God, I can't believe I was doing that. Like, oh, my God. Because people, there is such thing as growth. But when you are hearing, like, little leaks of, oh, that's the person still says the N-word. Nothing changed. Or whatever. Or you're just apologizing because everybody, you know, jumped down your throat and said, you need to apologize. It doesn't mean anything. You know, it doesn't mean any, it means absolutely nothing. And I don't know why people beat up celebrities to apologize. Like, why do you do that? It's so unnecessary. It's just, it, it's just, you don't need to do that. People are who they are. They're not going to change. And if they do change, they have to show me like, oof. Okay. But, um, you know, just stop expecting people to apologize. See who they are. If you're going to deal with them, deal with who they are. If they're a celebrity, they're selling things. If you're going to buy something, just know that you're buying something from a racist or whatever, you know, and live your life. Like, stop worrying. Stop worrying. <laughs> stop worrying so much. Like, people get on people's thing and they're like, oh, you need to apologize because blah, 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 blah. they make these big paragraphs. And it's like, why are you so upset? Don't be so upset. Life is great. Makeup is beautiful. You know, we have perfumes that sell great out here. We have foundations that are beautiful. You know, we have lash glue. Like, you know, we got wigs to make us look good. Like, forget all the drama. <laughs> forget the drama. And just worry about you, okay? Make your opinion. You know, tell, tell how you feel and move on. Move on, move on from it, okay? Don't try to change other people's lives because of what you think. It just, it's it's exhausting and you're honestly shortening your life trying to make people change because of you. Like, so what? Let them be who they are, okay? Um, as long as they're not harming themselves and even then, it's like, you know, that's when they really need to, you know, if you, if you know a person that's harming themselves, that's when you need to go and say, hey, I'm here to help. What do we have to do? Let's help you, okay? But if they're just being rude and obnoxious, okay, just move over. Don't associate with that person. Don't support that person and just keep on moving, man. Keep on moving, all right? But anyway, that's my video for today. Didn't want to make it too long, but I just want to touch on those three things, okay? Let me know your opinion. I'm scared. <laughs> 
y'all be scaring me okay i don't delete videos because they all mean people okay but um i'll try to keep this one up <laughs> but um you know let me know your opinion don't be nasty and rude don't say curse words um don't call me the n-word i've had that too many times it's very inappropriate not cool at all i'm just gonna delete it so you know don't do it but anyway thank you so much for watching subscribe like positive vibes and have an amazing amazing day bye bye